next, we're taking you inside the Arizona Science Lab, where we'll harness the power of the monsoon and the summer sun. We can learn so much from the weather this time of year. Lightning, water power, and solar energy. Let's take this one to the Arizona Science Lab. How do I look? <laughs> you thought you were having a bad hair day. <laughs> what is happening here? Crystal, you have your hands on a Van der Graaff generator. It simulates what happens in a lightning strike or what happens when you walk across a carpet and touch a doorknob and you get a spark and a shock. Oh, look, a little uh, lightning bolt. It tickles. It does. <laughs> this demonstration is electrifying. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's kill the lights and see what it looks like. I feel like the mad scientist. Here we go. Woo! Look at that. Now this is about 20,000 volts. A lightning flash is over 20 million volts. The reason it's not harmful, even though it's 20,000 volts, it's so fast that it can't generate enough power to really harm you. Oh, that's a nice long spark. And the reason it's long today is because the air is a little humid. What is your favorite fun fact about lightning? Yep. Most of the lightning goes up, it doesn't come down. It's actually two strokes. Not only do those thunderstorms put on quite a light show, but every monsoon we average about 2.71 inches of rainfall. That's a lot of rain out of those thunderstorms, and that can mean a lot of power, right? A lot of that rain then flows into rivers, which we then are able to capture the power of the, of the flowing river by use of a water wheel. The real power of the water wheel comes from a principle called leverage. Here I have two one liter bottles of water, which are really pretty heavy, and I can balance that with a very, very small amount of water in these cups because these are being lifted right next to this central hub where the water in these cups is out oh, a little more than a foot. And so by, uh, by doing this, we actually get to multiply the force. I can actually turn this water wheel with just this little force of water. What's an example of a real life water wheel in Arizona? The real famous one is Hoover Dam. Hey, it's dark in here. Somebody turn on the lights. Crystal, if you stop playing with the dolls, I'll show you how to turn on the lights. Okay, <laughs> what is this? So this is a demonstration of a solar house. So right now, it's taking energy from the lights right now? Taking energy from the lights, which would be the sun, into these solar panels. And you can see the way the current is flowing. It comes right in from the solar panel, goes through my voltage regulator, and goes right out into this power inverter, takes the DC power, converts it to AC, and lights the lights in the house. Gee, thanks for the light. Now I can read my book. So can we power our cars with solar energy? Well, not today we can't power our cars. And the reason is that we just don't have enough surface area to put enough solar panels on. But someday when the solar panels become more efficient, maybe they could, in, in conjunction with a battery, become another hybrid car. This has been so much fun at the Arizona Science Lab, but I gotta take off. I gotta go to my next story. So we're gonna get in the solar car? We're gonna get in the solar <laughs> car. Here we go. Step on that solar power. Look at it go.